Hey graphic designers, this is Mike here and today we're going to learn some retouching tools in Photoshop. The three tools we're going to take a look at is the patch tool, the clone stamp tool, and the healing brush tool. So let's start off with the clone stamp. I'm going to open up an image and what I have here is an image that has a couple holes in the boxes down at the bottom of the image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the clone stamp. The clone stamp actually copies an area and paints it on another piece of area of the image. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to zoom in on the hole that I'm going to correct. I'm going to choose the clone stamp tool which is up here on my toolbox as you see as my mouse pointer has uh, clicked on. I'm going to come over to the right side of the hole and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample that area by holding down my Alt key and I'm going to click. What that's telling Photoshop is I want to take that area I click on and I'm going to take and copy it and paint it over top of the hole. And to do that I'm just going to come over and click on the hole a couple times. And if this happens as you see here just resample and paint over top of it and there you go. The clone stamp actually duplicated that area and now the hole is gone. Another tool that we can use is the patch tool. Patch tool is a great tool to work on scratches, blemishes, and any other defects in the area that are kind of relatively, uh, relatively uh, consistent in color. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to use the patch tool to make this guy look a little younger. That's right, I'm going to be the plastic surgeon for the day. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce his wrinkles. And so by reducing it, it definitely is going to make him look younger. What you do here with the patch tool, very simple, it's right above the clone stamp. And I want to do is I'm going to select his wrinkles underneath his right eye. And with the patch tool, all you do is you take that selected area and you move it down. That area that you're moving to, it's actually going to take that area and copy it into where you selected. And it's going to blend it in. Watch what happens when I release. No wrinkles. So let me try it over here on the left side. I move it down. I release no wrinkles. Now watch what I'm going to do here. I am going to do it around his cheek where this deep brown uh, shadow is. So I'm going to select that area. Now the key is not to make a big selection. Try to get the area that is uh, a blemish or defect selected not exactly but as close as possible. And let me do the right side. And there we go. Ten years younger. No need to spend $10,000 when you have me. The next tool is the healing brush tool. Uh, it's another way, just like the clone stamp, where it's going to duplicate an area, but the clone stamp actually blends it in with the existing area. The clone stamp exactly copies while the, the clone, I'm sorry, the clone stamp exactly copies while the healing brush will blend in. So what I'm going to do here, as you see here, there's little hearts on her cheeks. I'm going to take the clone, not, I'm sorry, not the clone stamp, the healing brush tool, and I'm going to do what I do like with the clone stamp. I'm going to sample an area right below, and I'm going to paint over top of it. Now, when I release my mouse button, the heart disappears and it blends with the shading and highlights of the face. Notice I can still see the freckles. Let me do the other heart. If I come over, notice how quickly I can get this taken care of. No more hearts. Well, there's a couple more, but notice I can use that tool to take it away and I can leave the highlights and details of the face alone. And there you go. 
three tools that will help you for retouching an image. If you have any questions, give me an email and I'll talk to you later. Bye.